Hi guys and welcome back to my channel at home with Shell. In today's video I'll be showing you what I picked up in my weekly grocery haul, a week of meal ideas and also how much this shop cost in Aldi and how much it would have cost in Tesco's and how much I've saved. If you're new to my channel then hi my name is Michelle and I upload videos every single week on things like cooking, cleaning, lifestyle, hauls. So if that's the kind of thing that you like then I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. I meal plan every single week before I go shopping. I find that by doing this it actually helps me save money and just stop kind of impulse buying. So I just have a simple meal planner like this and I write down my lunches what I'm going to have. I do kind of mix and match my lunches that I'm going to have every day. And then I write the dinners that I'm going to have every night. And I'm quite good and generally stick to the dinners that I'm going to have. Um, and then I basically go off with my list, go shopping. Um, recently I have been doing my shopping online at Tesco's. Um, and then I popped in Aldi just to get a few bits and I'd almost forgot how cheap it was. So I thought I'd do this week's shopping at Aldi and I was so shocked at how much I saved. So in Aldi I spent a total of where's the price so i spent a total of 95 pounds and 53 pence um this did also include some um, barbecue tools that i got from my partner so they were five pounds so if i take them off it was basically 90 pound and then what i did when i got home is i put every single item that i'd bought here into my tesco shopping basket online to see how much it came to and i'll just show you um, I'll put it on the screen now. So in total, it came to £121.09. Um, now, with this, I did have to put in um, some kind of proper brands as opposed to Tesco own brands because they didn't have them in stock. So that would have made a slight difference. So in total, I saved myself £32.09p, which I think in a week shop is just amazing. I mean, how much is that? in a year that is that is over 1600 pounds in one year you'd save by going to Aldi instead of Tesco so I'm definitely a convert and going to um going to shop at Aldi more often although I do think sometimes it's handy to go to Tesco's when you need a few things you know like toiletries and washing powders things like that because they don't always sell the things that I need in Tesco's uh, in Aldi um, but just for kind of everyday weekly shopping, I would definitely be going to Aldi more often in the future. What I'll do now is show you everything that I bought from Aldi and show you all the dinners that I'm having this week. Um, I am trying to eat quite healthy at the minute, so all the dinners that I'll show you do come in at just under 600 calories. So I always put the dinners that I make on my Instagram. I'll link my Instagram page down below for you. Um, if you follow me on there, then I upload the dinners every single day to my stories. And then I basically just put a picture and the recipe so you can screenshot it if you do want the recipes as well. So let's get into showing you what I got from Aldi and my meal plan for the week. Monday night we're going to have spaghetti bolognese. I haven't had spaghetti bolognese for absolutely ages and everyone always loves it. It's always a massive hit in our house. Um, so I always make it with the 5% fat beef mince. Um, I always put loads of veggies in it too. So I add some peppers, mushrooms, I add some courgettes as well, which I've got in the fridge. And then I always add in a carton of passata, a tin of chopped tomatoes, a few herbs, I normally add in oregano, basil, and then I always like to add in a splash of Liam Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Um, I'm just serving it with spaghetti and a little bit of cheese grated on top. Honestly, it's just one of the easiest meals and so yummy. And when you pack it full of veg, it's a great way of getting your kids to eat lots of veg without even realising. Tuesday evening we're going to have a baked risotto. Um, I'm going to use these chicken sausages for this. Um, these ones from Aldi are really good because they're only £10 for these chicken chipolatas. You can use normal sausages if you prefer. But I really like using the chicken ones because it gives a really nice taste 
and also they're less in fat than normal sausages. Um, I just make this with some arborio rice, some tin tomatoes, um, and then I just throw in some celery, carrots, um, again use one of the red peppers. Um, I always try and add in as much veg as I can into there. What I really like about this dish is that you bake it in the oven, so with risotto sometimes it can take a while adding in all the stock and stirring it, you have to kind of watch it all the time. But this one's so easy, once you've sautéed kind of all the veg and chopped up the sausages in there, you simply put it in the oven and leave it to bake for around half an hour and it's done, so it's much easier. Wednesday evening we're going to have a veggie dinner, we're going to have a vegetable Thai green curry. We always try and have at least one vegetable meal per week, so this time I'm going to make it mainly with butternut squash and making it with this you really don't miss any meat in there at all. Um, you would normally use a Thai green curry paste for this, but Aldi didn't have any, but they did have this kit in there which was quite interesting. Um, so this kind of comes with the paste, the Thai herbs and the coconut milk, so I'll be interested to try this. But if you can't get hold of this then you just basically use a Thai paste and coconut milk and then you just kind of fry off some onions and the butternut squash, the spring onions and then you kind of add in the rest of your veg, so your corn, your mange too and then I always add a bit of chilli in just for a little bit of a kick as well. And then I just serve that with some basmati rice. Thursday evening we're going to have a Chinese chicken chow mein. So I love these big packs of chicken that you get from Aldi, they're so good. You get about 10 chicken breasts in there for £8.35 you can see, which I think is fantastic value. Um, so for this one you'll obviously just need the chicken some dried noodles, some soy sauce, um, a kind of a stir fry pack. So I've just picked this one up, this was a hot and spicy one but there's loads of different ones you can get, um, pepper based ones or mushroom based ones or if you've got veg left over then you can just throw that in. Um, you'll also need some garlic, some ginger and then you will also need some Chinese five spice and a stock cube. Basically mix it all up, it's super quick, it's ready in about 10 minutes and it is so tasty. Friday we're having a fish and chips fake away, so we always like to have a bit of a treat on a Friday night um, and be a bit naughty, uh, but it's still not that naughty considering we're making it ourselves. Um, so I'm using these bassa fillets, these are fantastic value, um, I just buy the frozen fish and honestly it works just as well as fresh fish, um, and then I just make this using a beer batter um, and basically fry it off, it doesn't take long, and then make it with some homemade chips as well. So. I'm just using some normal white potatoes that they sell in Aldi and then I'll make it with some mushy peas so it is like a real kind of fish and chips style fake away. I have made a video on how to make the fish and chip previously so I will link that in the description box down below for you. Saturday evening we're having a healthy version of a chicken parmigiana. So for this, instead of using like lasagna sheets or pasta or anything, I'm just simply layering up using aubergine, basically make a tomato sauce, layer it up on top of the chicken breast and then bake it in the oven and put some mozzarella on top and then just serve that with a simple salad or you can serve it with some garlic bread as well if you prefer a bit of a treat. Sunday we are planning on having a barbecue so I'll probably cook up these two steaks for us as a bit of a treat for a Sunday um, and then I'll probably just make up some chicken skewers or something with the chicken that I'll have left over and just make the skewers with some peppers, tomatoes, mushrooms, any veg that I've got left over and then might have some other and we'll probably just get some corn or something as well but still need to get that. Um, and I also picked up some smoky bacon um, just because to have a bit of a treat for a Sunday breakfast. So yep, that's kind of everything, all the dinners that I've got here and then I'll just show you the other few bits that I picked up as well. So this is everything else that I picked up in Aldi, so here we've just got kind of miscellaneous items, so 
a few bits of salad, some things for lunch and a few snacks. Um, I love the cereal in Aldi, it's such good value. The Weetabix are fantastic and honestly they taste just as good as a normal Weetabix. I uh, picked up some milk, we normally pick up quite a bit of milk and we've got a fridge in the garage outside so we just keep it in there. Um, eggs, again we go through so many eggs. Um, we get our baby wipes and nappies from Aldi and they are honestly fantastic. These crisps, I'm turning them the right way around. Um, these crisps are so yummy, I'm really loving these at the minute. And they're only 91 calories as well, so I definitely recommend getting these. They are honestly so tasty. Um, we've just picked up some fresh pasta. Um, it's, we find it really handy just to keep this in the fridge, just in case we get back really late one night and we just need something really quick. Um, I picked up these chicken steaks. Um, I got these a couple of weeks ago and they are such good value. They're £1.25 for four. Um, and we just have, often have them for lunch, just kind of chopped up with a salad and it makes quite a healthy lunch. Um, so we picked a couple of them. I uh, picked up some super noodles for my daughter. These are I think 22p or something. She absolutely loves them. Obviously it's not very healthy, but um, yeah, she loves it. So over here, we've just got a few bits of cheese, ham, some pork pie, more crisps over here. Um, got some ice creams these ice creams are really good actually they taste just like mini magnums um, and I feel if you're having a mini one you don't kind of feel as bad but even these mini ones are 142 calories but they're still nowhere near as high as the um, like the larger ice creams that you'd get the full size ones um, picked up these as well these are the salted caramel ice cream so I might try these I've not had them before but they're only 70 calories so I'll definitely be giving these a try these fibre bars are really good as well. These are just like the fibre one bars that you can buy, but they're a lot cheaper and only 84 calories. So just picked up some more crisps over there, some bread, and then just a few bits of fruit. So some bananas, strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries. Um, we always just buy these, I mean, they're called wonky ones. Don't really know how a raspberry and blueberry can be that wonky, but they're cheaper and they taste exactly the same as the normal ones. So, and I've also just got some more salad and avocados just to have for lunch. And then what I did want to show you as well, I picked up this for the barbecue. I picked up this for our barbecue set and I think it's amazing value. These are such good quality. And for these free tools, it was five pound. Now I've been looking online at this and I've seen these go for, you know, they're around 15 pound plus. So this, is fantastic value. Hope you've enjoyed this haul video and given you some inspiration about types of meals that you could potentially eat within a week. Um, remember if you do like this kind of content then I would love to have you subscribe to my channel because I make quite a few videos like this and I do also put all of my recipes and my meal plans on my Instagram every single week as well so if you follow me over there then you'll get to see lots more meal ideas. Thanks for watching, bye!